What's up guys, Justin here from Real World Strength and I am back with part four of my four part series on eating for your body type. So three weeks ago, I went over four tips that everybody needs to follow regardless of what you look like. Um, the week after that, I went over ectomorphs and last week we went over endomorphs. So this week we are going over mesomorphs. So to pull up my awesome little whiteboard with stick man again, these are people in the middle. So our ectomorphs are the sick men over here, endomorphs are the more round folk over there, and mesomorphs are built like triangles, upside down triangles. Lucky bastards. <laughs> so mesomorphs tend to have moderately thick skeletons, um, just normal proportions, basically, and wider shoulders and narrower hips. So if you want a prime example of um, like true mesomorphs, look at elite bodybuilders. Um, especially like Arnold in his prime, dude was like um, or like Ronnie Coleman, um, same kind of thing. Now Ronnie Coleman's a lot more pharmacologically enhanced than Schwarzenegger was back in the day, but even still, you look at their body types and just how enormous and strong and jacked and lean they are slash were, um, it's just, it's a stark contrast to the other two body types. So the natural inclination for mesomorph's frame is to be lean and muscular. Okay, so uh, please ignore the fact that I'm wearing a different shirt. I just want to clear something up real quick. Uh, when I'm talking about you know, different body types being better at you know, certain activities versus others, I'm speaking very broadly and generally. Everybody is different. Nobody, these very few people are perfect like ecto or meso or endo. Usually people are some blend. Um, and that's totally fine. You may f totally enjoy something that you're supposed to not be very good at. It doesn't matter. These are just, again, broad classifications. This is just meant to give you some insight into what may be helpful information for you. That's all. Anyway, back to the video. So a mesomorph is going to be generally pretty good at everything. Like an ectomorph is really good at moving their body through space and they tend to struggle when it comes to lifting any kind of external load. Endomorph is the opposite. They tend to thrive with weightlifting and strongman, and they tend to be on the struggle bus a little bit when it comes to moving their own body. Mesomorphs tend to do everything pretty well. Depending on how they train, they might be really good weightlifters or really good gymnasts. The world is kind of their oyster in that regard. So how is a mesomorph going to eat? Just like they, you know, an ectomorph naturally is going to lean out very easily. Endomorph is going to gain muscle very easily. A mesomorph can do either, but it's gonna take a little bit of effort. So we're talking branch chain amino acids, carbs, protein around the workout window. Um, try to you know, make sure that you're controlling your total calories. Uh, if you're trying to lean out, cut your carbs and cut your calories a bit. And again, make sure that you're following those four rules I went over a few weeks ago. Getting lots of protein, sleep, avoiding alcohol and staying hydrated. Um, so a mesomorph can do pretty much whatever they want as long as they've got the right plan going forward. And it shouldn't take a whole lot of effort, but it's not gonna be effortless. So anyway, that concludes our four part series on eating for your body type. I hope you enjoyed it um, and I will see you next time.